Welcome to NASDAQ Philex, the Philadelphia Stock Exchange is the first exchange to operate in the United States with its origins dating back to the 1700s. We are going to explore the technology that drives the NASDAQ Philex today. Perhaps the most interesting part of our history is our collaboration with FinTech Innovation. Kevin, let's start with you. Let's talk about the Data Art and NASDAQ partnership for the new Philex trading floor. All right, thanks, Jill. Thanks for uh, joining us today and, and inviting me to join you. But I will say, uh, to start, to answer your question, the Data Art and NASDAQ uh, combination is great for what we were trying to accomplish with our trading floor. And I know you took a tour of our new trading floor recently, but it is, it is, we were trying to accomplish something efficient and state of the art. And we wanted to take our floor broker management system, something we call FBMS, mm -hmm. and make sure, as you said, as a FinTech company where we believe we have the best matching engine in the world, we wanted to make sure we sort of combined and partnered with the right device maker and the right solution for us for the trading floor. And we have built something really, really fantastic that we're proud of. It's extremely compliant. It's got, it handles our workflow for our brokers and it, in a tremendous way, and it's it's fast. It is lightning fast, and we can get Cliff to talk about yeah, that. Yeah, Cliff, tell us more about the technology behind it. The, the technical details, the front end is we use Facebook Flux React uh, for the front end, and the back end is Java Spring, uh, which might not mean a lot to, to many people, but the point is that with Flux React, we can turn it into a mobile solution. So uh, ex automated exchanges, uh, and I've been in, in automated exchanges for many years, they traditionally used uh, their own proprietary handheld devices or you were tied to your desktop. And one of our aims here was to free up uh, brokers to be able to work from anywhere on, on uh, a, a big variety of devices uh, and browsers, and that's why we chose the technology. But the other reason we chose the technology was speed, performance. <clears throat> one of the issues with um, automated trading is it can become very wearing if there's a momentary pause whenever you try and place an order or whenever you try to get an update on your on your position. Now it might not seem a lot when you look at it the first time but after a day it can become very wearing so we were trying to make everything instant so placing orders, order routing etc. On top of that it has to keep performing exactly the same in different market scenarios and market scenarios are very complex we all know that and it has to keep performing the same regardless of the number of concurrent users. So you don't want, you know, really, and if you think about it logically, the worst case scenario is the more people in your exchange, the slower your system goes. That, you know, then you've got issues around fair markets and so on. And actually, this will continue to perform way, way above the number of uh, flow brokers that NASDAQ currently has. And, and current volume and multiples of the volume and uh, users. So Kevin, how much has the performance improved? I think the best compliment is it is it has been amazing and it's lightning fast in that uh, there's not a single complaint or even a data point that somebody says hey I did this trade and it took you know I had to wait a second it is instantaneous to the tape compliant and just I mean I, I can't say it enough like, even like complex orders so are now much easier to fulfill so, so and Cliff alluded to this a little bit so complex order we know of complex orders as vertical spreads and things like mm -hmm. that. But what we built with our functional requirements and working with Cliff and his team is not just a complex order, but a complicated complex order. We get, we get very unique type of orders that are within the complex rules of the SEC and our own. And that you might get, a, a broker may get an order, just to give you an example, of I want to I buy 1,492 of this one strike back closing. I'd like to sell 800 of this strike back and maybe roll another 722. But I want to do it for a $50,250 50, debit. And it would take a broker on any other floor maybe seven to 10 minutes to do this. We literally do it instantaneously. They punch that in, however long it takes them to put those requirements in of that trade, we feed them back the markets that it fits and it will only trade if it fits and we'll give those prices. And it is instantaneous, I, I can't stress enough. I mean, literally a microsecond. So Cliff, how is this technology groundbreaking, what's new with the front and back end applications? I'm quite confident in saying that you won't find any equivalent solution that performs at the same speed. Um, and the next thing is that we really focus on reliability and availability. I think if you're trading in any electronic exchange, you, you have to be completely confident that what you expect to happen is what is happening. You know, we have to not only become compliant with regulation, but we have to be able to design it in a way where changes to regulation could easily be accommodated into the system. So this is one of the things I've experienced in my career. Retrofitting 
um, uh, compliance is, can be very difficult with some systems. This is designed to try and make that as easy as possible. Now, none, none of us can look into the future and absolutely predict the next round of regulation that will hit capital markets. But you know, we, we, we can build it in a way where making those changes should be easy. And the next thing we did is that monitoring, surveillance and supervision, absolutely critical to, to electronic markets. Well, thank you very much, Cliff and Kevin, for joining me thank today. You. Thanks, and thank you for joining me. I'm Joe Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.